Presidents, Prime Ministers and Monarchs are all people who keep the world running every day. Without them, governments could not function. But some of these world leaders are also incredibly powerful, not just because of the country they serve, but because of how much money they make. In fact, there are those world leaders who can also count themselves in with some of the richest people on the planet. Here's a list of how the world's richest leaders became billionaires. Number 1. Prince Albert II One billion dollars Prince Albert II is the Prince of Monaco, the second smallest country in the world. At just over three quarters of a mile long, it seems quite ludicrous that the leader of this nation could be a billionaire, but he is. Valued with a net worth of just over one billion dollars, Prince Albert II is one of the richest world leaders alive today. But how does he actually make his money? Turns out Monte Carlo, Monaco's capital and also its only city, is a huge gambling mecca, boasting four casinos and numerous hotels in its small area. Gamblers fly in from across the world to gamble in the world-famous casinos, bringing in massive amounts of money to the city every year. However, the gambling industry in Monte Carlo is intentionally set up to be a monopoly that benefits the royal family of Monaco. Casinos, hotels and even opera houses are owned by an organization called the Société des Bains de Mer de Monaco, which is a royalty-owned company set up in 1863 by Prince Charles III of Monaco. Over time, the money and fame of Monaco casinos has multiplied. Now reaching the astounding $1 billion in value, Prince Albert II is worth today. Number 2. Donald Trump – $3 billion Donald Trump, the former President of the United States, reports that he started his billion-dollar business empire with a loan of $1 million from his father, but this is far from the truth. In actuality, news sources have discovered that Donald Trump actually received nearly $413 million from over 295 distinct streams of revenue, all set up by his father, Fred Trump. Fred Trump also set his son up for financial success through the use of trust funds. From the time he was three years old, Donald Trump had trust funds in his name. These funds effectively made him a millionaire by age eight and that wealth would only grow throughout his lifetime. Following in the footsteps of his father, Donald Trump invested in real estate, which made him even richer. Then in 2004, he started the TV show The Apprentice, which made him $427 million from its start to its end in 2018. He paid approximately $70 million in income taxes for this, but filed a $700 million business loss in 2009 and asked for those taxes to be refunded, which they were. He had been involved in several tax fraud allegations since, some of which are still ongoing, and was also accused of offloading his assets to family members during his presidency, and then still reaping the benefits of the $2.4 billion his companies brought in from 2016 to 2020. Today, he's still worth over $3 billion. Number 3. Kim Jong-un Five billion dollars. Kim Jong-un is famously difficult to find information about, but it is possible to find just how much the North Korean dictator is worth. In 2013, a team of South Korean and American investigative journalists uncovered over five billion dollars worth of assets held by Kim Jong-un in over 200 banks across three separate continents. Reportedly, the North Korean leader owns over 20 palaces across the country over 100 sports cars, and at least one private yacht. Journalists have also found out that he spends a lot of his time on his own private island off the coast of North Korea. It's difficult to say exactly what his money is invested in specifically, but it's certain that the dictator is worth a massive fortune. Number 4. Prince of Liechtenstein – $7 billion The Prince of Liechtenstein is one of the richest monarchs in the world. Worth a whopping $7 billion, the Prince of Liechtenstein, whose name is Hans Adam II, acquired his money through the inheritance of the LGT Group. The LGT Group is a very prestigious and important bank in Liechtenstein, and it holds around $60 billion in capital that it has invested around the world. 
It operates as a private bank that specifically markets itself to the super-rich, many of whom live in Liechtenstein, where the GDP per capita is over $165,000, the second highest in the world. This private bank is the main source of the prince's huge fortune, along with investments and real estate holdings, and he spends that money quite liberally on the things that interest him. Prince Hans Adam II actually has amassed a massive private art collection, which is all housed in its own museum in Vienna. This collection includes several expensive paintings by Peter Paul Rubens, a famous Flemish artist, as well as a golden chariot owned by Hans Adam's ancestor himself. There's no doubt that the prince is incredibly wealthy, though he may not flaunt it as much as some of the other people on this list. Number 5. King Mohammed VI, $9 billion Mohammed VI, King of Morocco, ascended to the throne after his father's death in 1999. The transfer of power also signified the transfer of the huge, royalty-owned Moroccan oil companies to his name as well, which skyrocketed him to his current net worth of $9 billion. Currently, King Mohammed holds a 35% share in El Mada, a Moroccan industry conglomerate that owns large parts of the oil, mining, banking, telecommunications, energy, and grocery chain industries in Morocco. He also has a personal holding company called Saiga, which invests in agriculture and land ownership, in part because agriculture is not taxable in Morocco. King Mohammed VI also spares no expense in living an incredibly lavish lifestyle. The daily cost of running his personal palace is estimated to be nearly a million dollars, and that isn't even paid by him, it's paid for by the state. With his own personal money, the king has bought $80 million mansions in Paris and other similarly luxurious purchases, disregarding his early promises to the Moroccan Republic for economic reform and poverty reduction. Now it seems as if he might have too much money to care. Number 6. King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud – $18 billion King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud is the king of Saudi Arabia. Taking over the throne in 2015, King Salman also took control of the vast amounts of fossil fuel reserves and assets that the previous Saudi king, King Abdullah, had grown under his rule. In the present day, this wealth is mainly invested in fossil fuel reserves, but how it was acquired in the first place is a different story. US cable communications leaked in the 1990s suggest that the money actually came from members of the Saudi royal family, taking loans out from banks without paying them back, repossessing publicly owned land, and exploiting expatriate worker visas, among other forms of corruption and illegal enterprises. The son of King Salman, the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, is attempting to combat these notions of corruption and extreme wealth by selling off some of King Salman's assets and by arresting other Saudi Arabian princes with reputations for corruption, which they use to fund their lavish spending habits. Still, reports published in 2020 indicate that both Salman and his son spend lavish amounts of money on yachts, palaces, and paintings. And despite over half a billion dollars of his assets being sold recently, King Salman remains very high up on the list of the wealthiest world leaders. Number 7. Sultan of Brunei – $28 billion Another man who's no stranger to showing off his wealth is Hassan al-Bolkir. Hassan al-Bolkir is the Sultan of Brunei, a country in Southeast Asia. In addition to being the country's absolute monarch, the Sultan has made himself the head of the military, head of finance, head of foreign affairs, and head of trade. Because of this, there have been many speculations about possible corruption and the funneling of state money into the Sultan's own personal accounts. But there's little evidence to back up these claims as of yet. Instead, a more likely explanation for the Sultan's wealth is oil. Brunei is a huge exporter of crude oil, and the Sultan has invested heavily in both the country's oil and natural gas industries, earning him a net worth of $28 billion that increases by $127 every second. In 1988, Forbes declared the Sultan to be the world's richest man, but what sets the Sultan of Brunei apart from other royalty and world leaders today is just how much he flaunts his immense wealth. The Sultan of Brunei's primary residence is the Istana Nurul Iman Palace. 
This immense sprawling property has over 1,800 rooms, five swimming pools, and a banquet hall that seats over 5,000 people. The Sultan also owns over 7,000 cars, totaling over $9 billion in value, as well as a gold-plated private jet. He flies in his favorite hairstylist for his famously expensive $20,000 haircuts, and his badminton coach gets paid an astounding $2 million per year. While many of the world's wealthiest people prefer to spend their money in private, it's no secret just exactly how rich the Sultan is as he has absolutely no problem displaying his huge fortune. Number 8. Maha Vajiralongkorn – $43 billion Maha Vajiralongkorn, the present king of Thailand, is the richest member of a royal family in the modern day. Worth an insane $43 billion, the Thai king invests the large majority of his assets in three major regions – industry, banks, and real estate. King Vajira Longkorn owns a 23% share of Siam Commercial Bank, which is one of the biggest banks in Thailand. He also owns major stakes in the country's largest industrial company, the Siam Cement Group, as well as 16,000 acres of prime Thailand real estate and over 40,000 rentals. The king is well known for his luxury appetite and is famed for his many riches, including his collection of 38 airplanes and helicopters. He's also known for being the owner of the world's largest faceted diamond, a 546 carat brown diamond. As the richest royal in the world, the King of Thailand certainly is no stranger to incredibly excessive wealth. Number 9. Vladimir Putin – $200 billion Of all of the world leaders on this list, Vladimir Putin is by far the richest, but his wealth is also the most difficult to keep track of. With his wealth firmly sequestered away in tons of unknown places around the world, the best that journalists, economists, and wealth experts can do is estimate his net worth based on what is publicly known about the Russian president. In the official Russian documents, Putin reports a modest annual salary of $140,000. But experts have reported that the different watches he wears on a daily basis are worth much more than that just on their own. In 2017, finance expert Bill Browder testified to the United States Senate that Putin is worth more than $200 billion. If this is true, that puts Putin among the very richest people in the entire world. It is known that the Russian allegedly owns a $700 million superyacht which was recently seized by the Italian government amid Russian sanctions, as well as a Black Sea palace built specifically for him. Sergei Kolesnikov, a Russian whistleblower and former Kremlin business insider, says that Putin repeatedly engages in high-level corruption for monetary gain. The Russian president allegedly uses his connections with extremely wealthy Russian oligarchs to fund public programs, like a program for new equipment in hospitals, and then skims massive amounts of money off the top before funding the proposed program for much less than he originally stated. What happens to this money afterwards is unknown. Putin takes very great care not to leave any paper trails whatsoever. Using this kind of corruption, Vladimir Putin has been able to build both a massive political empire and a huge secret fortune at the exact same time. Which of these wealthy world leaders surprised you the most? Like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.